Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Stinky Armpit Bass here. <clears throat> just uh, just got off work, man. Kind of tired. Late at night. I see the sun shining. Or going down anyway. Yeah, sunset. Opposite of shining. I'm that tired. I think it's shining. It's not shining. A uh, quick video on how to do clean installs. See this guy right here, guys? That's a clean install, baby. Look at that. It's flush. It doesn't look factory because they're like, man, why would Japanese dudes who make a suzu? Why the hell would they put some uh, switches on the dash? They don't. And clearly it's not, uh, it's not a factory. But it is clean. Look at that. I ain't got no plastic hanging out, nothing. My uh, factory clock, uh, you know, OEM clock was right there. Dude, this is a 2000. That's a 15, 16 year old clock. Who uses a clock? Not me. Everybody's got cell phones, watches, whatever, whatever. Clean, clean, clean. Now this was actually my left hand side AC vent. It's not as clean as could be, but it's cleaner than it should be. You feel me, dog? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. But seriously, so I had to go in there, uh, take the dash cover off and all. This guy's got a couple screws, pops right out, no big deal. That's why I love old cars. Do it yourself. Easy to do, easy to customize, easy to fix, easy to keep running. It's great. Uh, stopped up the back of it to prevent from heat. Um, even if I do run my, look at these old school guys right here. Bam! Look at this. It's a guy with an arrow pointed at his head. It's like, oh no, it's gonna go to my head. Look at this guy. It's like, I'm gonna get poked in the foot and the head. Look at this. It's weird. It's almost like one of those things in the in the ocean that get close to the bottom. What is that thing with the tail? This guy's ch -ch -ch. maybe it's signaling that he's going this way and the water's going this way. I don't know. This guy's got one of those uh, stingray guys up here. Oh, he's about to get, ah. He's got an arrow down his foot. It's like, meh, got kicked in the foot. Got a stingray on my face, meh. Look at this guy. He's like, please put some pressure on my feet. I need the arrow, the pressure on my feet. I don't know. Maybe these guys aren't like that at all. Maybe. This is just signaling for dash air out the vents. Both feet. Feet and defrost or just defrost. Anyway, it kind of carried away, kind of ADD then at the day. Okay, even if I put on this guy, it's still blocked up, dog. I ain't nothing coming through. The block is hot. But the block's only hot unless you got it on hot or got it on cool, so the block's cool. And this guy was where some, uh, some uh, factory switches went. I uh, cut those guys out. I think it was like my cruise control stuff like that. I just cut out. There was two of them here. You know, they snap in. Uh, take the little guy in the back. Do like this. Do like this to come out. I cut the barrier out. This guy snaps in. Here's what not to do, guys. Dun, 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 dun. You see all that weird stuff back there? Do, 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 do. It's weird stuff. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost like you're a peeping Tom of the dash. You're a dash peeping Tom. I guarantee if the local PD rolled up and they caught me being a peeping Tom, but not a regular peeping Tom, peeping Tom under the dash, you wouldn't get a ticket. They would still catch you funny. You might get a ticket. Who knows? That's what not to do. Okay, so we want to plan this stuff out. We want to do, that could be cleaner. That guy's pretty custom. I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty proud of myself that that guy out. This is pretty clean. These guys is pretty clean. Or you can just buy something like this and just screw it straight in your plastic. Better not move it. I actually installed this guy too. Had to cut this out. So not as clean, but mostly the interior of my car is pretty dark, man. So you ain't gonna notice. Huh? Look at this. I don't even know why I haven't even fixed this yet. It's the first 12 volt switch hole. It's a half inch cutout. On the back end side of these guys, you got three prongs and you got so uh, it's threaded. This guy goes over it, screw it down, torque it. That's how this stays in place. It's not going anywhere. Look at this guy. Straight just screwed down into my car. Look at this hole. Look at this $8,000 custom 6x9 job in the door, baby. That's right. Actually, this used to just hold stuff. I took this whole panel off, man. I just screw a hole in there for the mounting depth and cut this out and bolt it in. See how it's bowed out? Yeah, whatever, whatever. Now, my factory doors came with five and a quarter. These are six and a halfs. Maybe there's potential for an eight. Look at all that extra plastic, baby. Woo! And over all the zillions of times that I've taken this guy apart, 
uh, ran extra stuff through my firewall. This guy is cracked. That guy is dirty. I got so many big wires and stuff don't even fit in right. From here you're like, oh, it looks great. From here you're like, meh. You can see this guy and you're like, meh. Peep on Tom. <laughs> then I got these guys. You're like, what the hell are that? Speakers, baby. Straight speakers. All kinds of speakers. Woohoo! Punching glass. Meh. Put three layers of insulation up here, guys. The light won't even go back. I did have an LED right here and more holes. So my 2000 Isuzu Rodeo has more holes than a one pound block of Swiss cheese. Meh. My factory tweeters in here. Actually, you know what? It's funny I said that because I've never even thought about replacing them. Even though I do need to be replacing them. Tweeters, tweeters. Jeepers, creepers. I'm gonna shut this guy. I'm gonna shut this guy and I'm gonna eat this fry. And then we get back here to stuff like this where people are like, man, that's ugly. What the hell is that? That's ghetto engineered. That's highly engineered. Look at those custom made distribution blocks and all that one alt gauge. High strand flexible welding wire. And that's right, I'm about to name drop. Give a shout out to WeldingSupply.com. And that's right, guys. Do have the boom mats right here. It's almost like an enclosure without an enclosure. Oh yeah, AGM stacked. Fans, fans, fans. <laughs> I got these fans because I hang out with the mans. I got a hole up here and I glued a piece. I got a hole up here and I glued a piece. As ugly as this is, it's beautiful at night when all the blue LEDs illuminate and the high phonics blue logos. It's their signature color, guys. You know the deal. It's actually highly efficient. Oh. Look at this, pre-cut out holes, that's right, baby, and zip ties on both ends, so you can't pull them out, buddy. You think this was a pain? Man, you have no idea. Look at all these guys. That's right. I cut a hole, and then I forced that wire through with the rubber protective surround. It was a tough one, Jimmy. Uh-oh, a factory tweeter. More ghetto-ness. What's that, foam stuff? What's that stuff that was in the 9-11 towers and it was an inside job because they knew it was going to be a big insurance claim. That's right, because they had to redo it, but that's a different video. So I haven't completely ruined this side of the dash yet, guys. Nothing's up here. Nothing's up here. Is it even cool to get, like, the uh, the video ones? Oh, you know, I hadn't decided yet. So, look, from this side, pretty clean, pretty clean, you know what I mean? And then I got a screw going in there. Man, I got a cold hole cut out here for the mice. I got a random wire in here. I got wires in here. What the hell's that hole right there? Big old dad gun metal hole coming out. Look at that hole over there. Dead burn. I got a screw right there. Dad burn them screws. Look at this, buddy. P-R-V. Audio pipe. This is actually the back to a... A basketball post. Of course, all this is custom, brilliantly engineered and designed by yours truly. Stinky armpit beige. This is probably one of the highest levels of engineering in the human history. Level of engineering. This is actually the uh, protective bottom to a uh, basketball goal. I took it out. It is an L-shape. It is hollow plastic, but it's somewhat rigid. Yeah, that's the support beam. And look at this. It's flat wire. I think it's 10 or 12 gauges. It's flat though. Look at that. I got this stuff on the windows. Look at them holes up there. I bet Batman friends live up there. Ooh, look at them guys. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Alright, dude. I gotta I gotta go and eat something, take a nap. Meh.